Ian, it's not the result you came here wanting. How are you feeling after that? Um, I suppose it's mixed emotions really. I'm disappointed obviously with the result, but immensely proud of how the club have performed tonight, how the supporters have performed and how the players have performed. Yeah, it wasn't the result we was looking for, um, but you know, if we can get this every year and replicate it by getting to the second round of the FA Cup, and I'll take that all day long. Um, as I say, the result isn't what we wanted. And, it's, it's disappointing. Disappointing for, for the amount of supporters that have turned up and disappointing for the players because I think their performance tonight didn't deserve a 4 0. But that's football at the end of the day. We have to accept it, get on with it, and uh, pick ourselves up now for, for Hampton on Saturday. And, um, Mitch, like Ian said, 4 0 doesn't really represent the game. For some of the players, it seemed like it was a game where just a few chances were just missed. How was it for you? I know you missed one just. Yeah, there was a few few close calls for us. Um, Dave hit the bar in the in the first half, and the second half, I think when it was one nil, I'd want to say save low down. And if if they go in, it's inches. If they go in, then it's a completely different game. Um, and like Gaffer said, I think four nil four nil was harsh. I think we played some good football um, towards the end of the first half and during the um, second half. So it's just a shame to come away with with the result that we did. And Ian, we've we've packed out almost half of their stadium here with our fans and they've sold out their end which we know they don't normally do do you think that's a compliment to us as to how big of a challenge we are as well I think it's a compliment to both clubs at the end of the day that they've managed to fill the stadium um, as you say I think it was a fantastic 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 atmosphere in terms of the way the supporters behaved there was just a few um, minus idiots that come on the pitch towards the end and it was a bit of fun to be fair and but it takes away the, uh, the the enjoyment of what a lot of people had. So, you know, we have to accept that. Um, this is what happens at football grounds. Um, it doesn't take away that it was a fantastic occasion. I'm so pleased at the supporters and the players and, and the clubs about a, a night like tonight. You know, we've managed to get on TV again. Disappointed with the result. Disappointed because I want to take the club further. Um, but we have to accept sometimes that you know you can't win every game of football. We have to um, we have to move forward now. And as I said, you know, we have to make sure that we we pick it up in the league form and get ourselves back into into contention for the playoffs first and foremost, and then have a chance of trying to win the league. And like you said, we're still alive in the league. We've still got the FA Trophy. The Hart Senior Cup's in there as well. So, do you think there's better things to do than look back on this as a disappointing end? Well, we can't look back because I say that you know it, it, it's, it's memories now. Um, we have to move forward um, and we have to go and build some more memories. You know, why can't we have a good run in the FA Trophy? That's something we've got to look at. But it's not going to be an easy tie playing Braintree. You know, there were some good results just lately. So we have to we have to move forward. You know, today it, it's disappointing. It's gone. We have to move on. You know, we we came into the FA Cup on the 18th of September. And we've had a fabulous, fabulous run so far. It's gone now tonight. Supporters have had a good time. Disappointing on the night. Disappointing result, but we've got to move forward. And Mitch, just one final thing. Obviously, it is looking back in that sense. But for players like yourself who've come up the league from from below, how nice it been to win this run? You've been on national television twice and playing the second round of the FA Cup. Yeah, I think in, in most non-league football players' career, playing in the FA Cup first round proper is always something that you, you aim to do. Um, and having a chance to get into the third round would have been would have been amazing playing against ideally one of the big boys. I know the draw didn't go that way, but it could have done. Um, so yeah. I'm, I'm really happy that we've managed to get as far as we've done. Um, the boys can be proud. We've had some really good nights, so the Forest Green. Um, hopefully the fans have enjoyed it as well. Um, and we'll go again in the league and back in the FA Cup next year. All right, thank you both. Thank you.